Hey, what's going on, guys? To continue with the uh, with the story. Um, so first, we're at a place called B Bistro. With my business partner. She's got some steak and eggs. Got a cappuccino. It's great downtown Miami. So as I was saying, we um, we had we had to get jobs because we had ran out of money, right? And um, I started working at a place uh, called uh, Fats Cafe. I was in uh, um, over there in Irmo, South Carolina, and that was really, uh, really in unique experience. I'll say uh, it was it was definitely a hard time for me, hard hard point in my life, because um, I'm not I'm not better than anybody else, you know. But at that point in time, I had been thinking about business for years, tr you know, trying different little ventures, um, you know, reading lots of books. And uh, when I worked there, I worked as a dishwasher. And everyone in the back of that store, they were either um, fresh out of prison or currently still in prison. There was a... Um, there was a, a prison bus that would pull up and would drop off this one guy. He was on some sort of like work leave. Um, Cause I guess if you didn't commit uh, a violent crime, you had the ability to do a, um, to go work. And then they would pick him up, take him back to prison when he was done with his shift. Um, and that was really, I mean, I had been, I've, I've been around all kinds of people all my life. You know, I've been around people like that. Um, being surrounded with them like that, you know, you start to kind of, I don't know, you start to kind of adapt those those mindsets, you know? And uh, anyways, I, I was a dishwasher there and that was, that was, that was, that was really tough. Um, and uh, anyways, where the story gets very interesting, where, where really everything changed. Uh, I had, at my workstation, I had a really, a really rusted out speaker that was above, uh, above my workstation. And it was playing the radio all day. So it played ad. You could barely. It was so rusted out. You could barely hear what it was. Uh, what, what it was even playing. And um, one day it started playing this ad. Something about real estate and flipping houses. I, I didn't. I never really thought about it before. I had thought about getting into real estate uh, before. I thought I would maybe one day eventually do it as like a stepping stone. But I never thought about being full time in real estate. And. Uh, They played this ad, and I remember talking to others about it. Hey, did you hear that ad? That was really interesting. Every single person, oh, that's a scam. I thought it was a scam, right? And um, I was like, I'm gonna wait for it again. And um, I'm really interested in that. Well, it eventually, it, it played again. And uh, I, I went outside. I had, at the time, I had a uh, this little beat up Ford Ranger. And I went outside and, and I called it. And when I called it, I, I got, it was like, they had a free event they were doing, and um, I got two tickets. One for me, and, and one for my best friend, which is now my business partner, sitting here eating with me today in Miami. And um, and uh, basically I scheduled it. When I went back inside, I got in all kind of trouble because I left my station, you know, the dishes were just piling up. It was, it was terrible. Um, and then it, the, the the work they'd make you do there was crazy, man. I mean, everybody knows the kitchen in a restaurant like that, but are, they're disgusting. Uh, there was these sinks, and underneath the sink was this like little, you know, this pipe that would lead down into the floor where it would drain out. Where there was a gap between that and then the thing in the floor. It wasn't connected. And this is pretty gross, but you know, they're, they, they served seafood there, they served, all like burgers and steak I mean everything you can imagine and so it would some of the that some of the stuff would get caught in there and it would build up this mystery gunk in that the hole and I remember one day I was slammed packed with dishes the waitresses were just piling them up I mean they were really busy and I'm literally Literally, I'm washing dishes as fast as I can. They had this little hose thing you get, and you spray the dishes, and you scrub it, and you spray it off again, and you stick it in the tray, and you send it through the machine, and I'm going as fast as I can. And there, I couldn't keep up, they're piling up. And I had this manager, 
and uh, wasn't a fan of this guy. And he comes over to me as I'm literally the busiest I've ever been. And um, he says, here, come here, I need you to do something. And I'm sitting there like already frustrated. I'm like, do you, do you really need me to do this right now? He's like, yeah, you gotta follow me. Okay, so I follow him to the back. It was this, it was the break area where they kept all the mops and stuff, super gross. Everybody go back and smoke cigarettes and just throw the butts on the ground. It was super gross back there. And he hands me a little spray bottle. He has me a spray bottle. And I don't remember, this is some sort of little tool thing. And he walks me around, <coughs> he walks me around the, the kitchen. And he says, you see those little holes right there underneath the sinks that I was just describing. And he says, I need you to get on your hands and knees and clean that out. Are you serious? He's like, yeah, you're the dishwasher. You gotta do that. And I'm like, you need me to do that right now. And he's like, yeah, I need you to do that right now. Okay. And so, this one just got his, he got salmon. Ooh. Salmon, and I think he had, I think he already finished the eggs. Um, and uh, I'm like, are you serious, right now? And uh, so, I literally get on my hands and knees on this disgusting floor, uh, underneath the sink, you know, and I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm scraping this stuff out. And it was probably one of the most humiliating um, things I've ever done. Cause it was just on top of everything else that was stacked, you know? I wasn't already feeling great about myself because everything I was, what was going on and I'm on this dishwasher at this place. And it, it felt bad because I think Tony Robbins talks about, Mark, what, what is it? Uh, it's not depression, but something about when you like, when your expectations are here and, you, and the reality is here, something about it's the difference in between is what makes you like, you feel bad and wrong. And that's what was going on with me because I had all these things going on in my mind of business and I can do great things, I could live this amazing life, I could, I could, you know, I could, I could start, a, you know, some sort of investments and everything and I'm sitting here on my hands and knees scrubbing this mystery gunk out of these, these sinks and um, that was really, really kind of the moment for me. I was like, what is going on in my life right now? And um, anyways, after, after that whole event, we ended up going to the real estate event that I had called. And um, something about, it's all about mindset, you know? And, and as soon as, excuse me for eating, but um, as soon as I walked into that event, I knew I was buying whatever they were selling. I just kind of knew, I was just kind of fed up with everything and I wanted, I, I needed something to do in my life. And, oh my God, this place is amazing. Where we got the sign right here? I think it's B Bistro, awesome, downtown Miami, you gotta check it out. And um, they were mainly talking about flipping houses. And you know, they're, they're going on it, they're kind of real general in their information they're talking about. And uh, in in the free part, it was, they had, they had their free seminar and then they sell you on going to their like three day event where they deep dive flipping houses. And in that free event, they mentioned, by the way, there's another way that you can do this where you can make, I think they said like only a couple thousand dollars because they didn't want to hype that up. They wanted to go what they were teaching, which was flipping houses. And I said, wait a minute, what? They said, well, yeah, without buying the house and without doing any of the repair costs to the house, you can, you can get a house under contract and you can sell it to somebody else who actually flips it and you can make a profit in between. My eyebrows shot up and I sat back in my seat and I was like, that's it, that's what I'm doing. That sounds incredible. It's the first time I'd ever heard of this idea of wholesaling real estate. And uh, I immediately knew, like, that's it. Whatever you guys are selling, I'm buying because I want to figure that out. And so I remember it's, it literally they had the, you know, it, it, the typical seminar things, you know, in the back, they had the tables all lined. And as soon as they said, hey, you guys can buy, I stood up and went back, signed my name, and I paid for the two tickets for me and my business partner. And we ended up going to that event. And, uh, yes, very good. And uh, so we, we, went to, we went to the event, and but the event was like two weeks uh, after the free event we went to. And, um, before we had gotten to that event, we had already taken massive action and built our uh, our cash buyer list. And uh, that's where I'm gonna pause this one now, is uh, that's where the next part of the story begins, is after 
Uh, we did that, and once we got to that event, so stay tuned for the next one.